Brought to you by AwesomeDrinks.com. It's Jen's birthday this month. Use coupon code JENS37 and save 15% on everything you purchase. Put down your jack in the box! We're making a cocktail! I have no idea what the curd is doing. <laughs> this is the curd. I don't think I introduced you last time. It doesn't Curtis really matter. Curtis McMillan. Uh, he's like the, what do I call you? The spirit gods. I don't know. He, he's the guy who perpetuates the perfection of a cocktail. And, and sometimes that means shaken, not stirred. And I say shaken. He says stirred. So I'm playing the James Bond. And he's playing everybody else. Mr. Magoo. <laughs> Or no, let's let's go. Oh, so you get to be the cool guy in the Aston Martin, and I'm Mr. Magoo. Fine, you could be the guy. Why don't we just break this Ace down? To, why don't we just break it down to what it really is? <laughs> and I just I know that every cocktail that's all spirits, underdog, every cocktail that's all spirits, yep. should be stirred. stirred. My contention with that is I agree, except for it has Irish cream, and Irish cream doesn't always like it. It doesn't. Bond. Bond in there. And it ends up separating easier. If you shake it, it stays but this is how long. This is it will the, eventually go it'll eventually lay. This is cocktail science. Because what we do is we test it both ways, mm. we see which one's better, yeah. and then we have definitive proof. Except for one one variation that we can't test very easily. What's that? Is time. The longer that sits, both of them are probably gonna separate equally. Yeah. So we assume in this point that most people sit, won't let it sit that long. Okay. Right? So, so what, like a couple minutes, you, it would take for somebody to drink one of these, right? Yeah. So why don't we just build I it? I think mine's going to be pretty. Yours is going to be I don't. Ugly. I don't really care. Yours is going to be <laughs> ugly, Kurt! <laughs> okay. Just mix it. Okay. Just mix it. I don't have any. He took all my. Yeah. What do we need? We need three quarters of an ounce of Jaeg. Yep. Half Yeg. of Canadian whiskey. Half? No, you're screwing me up. Three quarters. Three quarters of an ounce. I'm just going to pass it down assembly line style. Well, what if I'm a slow assembly line worker? Hey, you are. <laughs> and then I get backed up, which actually half. happened. Whiskey? Is this whiskey? Yep. Whiskey, half ounce. Yeah. A little fireball. I, you know, a lot of people down on fireball. That's because they're hipsters. Uh, I like it. I like fireball. I do too. Fireball is awesome because it's trending now. All of a sudden, everybody's like, ah, get a fireball. It's too popular. It's like Jaeger. Hashtag fireball. Hashtag fireball. I like butterscotch, too. Yes. Now, something interesting I was looking up last night is most Corn? most liqueurs have, like, a mothership liqueur. Like, there's something like hazelnut liqueur has frangelico. Mm. Um, melon liqueur has Midori. Butterscotch melon does not, not have Mid oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, a mothership it. liqueur. No. Like a, a high-end product of the... Like a, a product that was the genesis of all the other products. Mm. Because because it's butterscotch. I've never even <laughs> seen other ones besides butterscotch. Curd, you asked. Yeah, but there should be like you one... You haven't used this yet. What? This. I know. I, I was... He's off on his rant. I was in a discussion. Okay, I smell butterscotch all up in the house. I love butterscotch. I think that it's kind of sad that nobody's like tried to like... Make it like a, like a high end. A high you end, should yeah. still be able to make a high end butterscotch because there's whenever there's a process, people take shortcuts, right? Yeah. And the best way to do it is not take that shortcut, and then you make a better product. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, like an organic butterscotch liqueur would be right. pretty dope. With like the whole creation of the butterscotch is like chipmunks on a treadmill I mean, making the grinding of a butterscotch. Or there's something good like that. cocktails that call for butterscotch, and then like when I pull out like. A cheap four dollar liqueur in, in a fancy restaurant. People are like, uh Right. It is, yeah, it's like the only one. Yeah. Is Fireball made by Dr. It is it is, and it's also made by Sazerac. Sazerac makes everything. Yeah, Not everything. They make Peugeot bitters, they yep. make Regan's orange bitters. They uh they make Sazerac, um whatever else Sazerac makes. Yeah. <laughs> they make a lot of stuff. They make a drink they have a, Sazerac. They have a bar called the Sazerac, right? It's not really their bar, though. Okay. Are you doing this up? Or are you adding ice? He's not adding ice. You know what? I've got ice in here. Why don't I just do this? Because it's your, cause your ice is lame. Hey, you took my... I stole your ice game. No, you took my strainer. It's 
all good, Kurt. Because <laughs> I got the strain ray. Okay, mine looks better. You got more dilution, too. Yes, I do. How long do you strain Did you put it? any? Did you put any ice cubes in it? Yeah. Oh, okay, so then it's not a dilution thing. What do you mean? Just put another ice cube in there. I only put one ice cube in here. Oh, shit. Yeah, you got more dilution. No, I think all I have is aeration. I think there's a lot of air in here. Okay, well. Because see, look at the top. I mean, not enough to fill that much, but. Okay, there's mine. Mine looks so much sexier, though. Drink yours, right? Just drink it. By the way, this, I don't know if you could tell, but this is more of a Thanksgiving drink, but I wanted to make it now. You know what this tastes like? Horchata. Oh, it does, yeah. What the fuck? Um, it's just like horchata. We didn't, you don't even need to buy uh, rum chata. You could just make it with all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just thought about that as Taste I was that. going. I'm like, right. That's silkier. It's Whoa! Much, much stronger, too. <laughs> yeah, it is. My God! Whoa. I don't know about that, Kurt. I don't know if I... I don't know. I think I like mine better. <laughs> Just, just because it's it's a little um, easier. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the judges. Yeah. So that would be Jennifer. Yeah. Just don't break my stream. Your don't stream. cross the streams. All right, I won't. Try that one. That one's very fluffy. It is. It's like a cake. She's not gonna like it because it tastes like horchata or cream shada or, or rum shada without the rum. Sans rum. Isn't that stronger? If you don't say it's stronger, then something's wrong, because me and Kurt both think it's stronger. So that means you've been drinking too much. How much drink did she drink down there? No, I think that one's better. I, I one? do, too. Yours? Yep. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding! What? Spirits are all supposed to be stirred. Why is this one better? Is it just the, the mouthfeel? I think it's got a better... No, it's just got a better taste. Yeah. This has a mouth... Uh... I think this one's actually a little stronger. What? Huh? Oh, that's backwards. I like the silkiness of the mouthfeel on that one. It's, it, it has the silkiness of the... Those are... Uh, I don't know. Those fit together better. <laughs> I think it's the air. It bruised that one. It doesn't bruise. Don't say bruise. People are going to take that as a serious thing, and then they're going to be like, you bruise your gin. <laughs> you don't bruise gin. It just tastes different. It's chemistry. It's, this is science, bitch. When the cameras are off, he slaps his bottles. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, like... Look at you can see like the the half inch head that's in here. I think that's causing that air air to suck. You've in. always been looking at a half inch head. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just the head. It comes with a se a seven inch stick. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm waiting. That I will agree they taste different. Mm -hmm. This one reminds me more of a mudslide. Well, okay. with with a uh, rum shot. I just don't like the aeration on it. It is very airy. Yep. This is more silky. Um, if it's this all is, this is martini worthy. If like it's all spirits, glass, yeah, it should be stirred, not shaken. No, but all that matters to me is that it didn't. And this is the whole my whole concern was that it would it would um not what would we say go together right bond. It would bond. It, it was fine. It has a little bit of it wouldn't bond play nice. This mean? this reminds me of a white Russian. This reminds me of a mudslide. This glass is all fucked up. That's probably why I have it. Um, no, I think yours yours does taste a little bit better. Uh, I, I I am a big fan of the texture. Mm -hmm. I like that it, it's it's smooth, and I think that gives you ability to get some of those flavors out. Where this one's a little bit aerated, a lot of it aerated because yeah. we shook the shit out of it, and it tastes more like a fufu drink. Mm -hmm. That tastes more like a mandrake. The manly drink. As well, or or something like a like a white Russian would. Okay, I'm good yeah. with that. What really matters is that they do come out different. And I think from Kenneth, who submits tons of cocktails to us and Tipsy Bartender, is that there's a habitual need to shake stuff. People want to shake everything, right? And if it doesn't have a juice, it doesn't need to be shaken. Yep. And when it, and the thing is, if it's not shaken and it tastes different, then, you, then you're going to fuck up. You need to make it both ways. Like, as a designer, not as the drink. Like, if somebody says, you should shake this, just shake it, because they said so. But you're taking it, you're assuming that they made the decision, and they did this, and went, oh, you know what? This tastes so much better this way. Yeah. So, I guess, we you have, have any questions before I ask if people like their drink shaken or stirred? No. No. Question of the day. Shaken or stirred? And have you done experiments like this to see the difference? This one does have more dilution, though. Right? I can't y really Yes. Shaken's always say, more diluted than stirred. 
What the fuck? How long are you stir it? What do you do? 30 seconds? And I'm just saying if both are at the exact yeah. same time. Well, yeah, but one of them, like, if you shake it, you shake it for, like, 15 seconds, your stir should be 30, right? No. It depends on what you're trying to accomplish. What it, well, I was you trying want to accomplish more dilution, you go like... longer. If the times are exactly the same... Nice job. You're going to get more dilution. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely, because you're, you're cracking it and everything else along with it. I'm just wondering how long you stirred that. Like, did you do I it don't know. Did I, I didn't time myself. You don't, you touch it to feel how cold it gets? Before we went did. the same amount of time. Well, that's, that's different. I'm just wondering if you would have shake. What's your average shake time? Or stir time, rather. When you make a cocktail. It depends. Stirring. It depends what I'm trying to do. If I want more dilution, I'll go longer. If I want less dilution, I'll go shorter. Why would you want more dilution? Because it's too strong, too much hard. It could spirit, be like it could be like a hundred proof spirit, and I want to try to bring proof. that down. Like it, it, it like all. Proof tequila. It, it's asking that question is like asking like why would you use blue paint in your painting? Like why? No, that's why did not you, anything. Why like did you that. bring in the cowbell in your song? Like it's it's no, all depending upon what, what you're trying to accomplish. It would be like if you're cooking, why did you cook that egg for an extra thirty seconds instead of not hard boil, soft boil, hard up, whatever you know those names. Yeah. Uh, over easy, over, over hard. easy, over hard, over soft. Like those it's, it's, it's because, are the same thing, right? Yeah, well, you would cook it, you'd cook it longer because you want to accomplish something with and the process. it comes out better. It comes out different. No, better is a bad word to use for right, this. That's why it, it comes out different. different. Yeah. <laughs> because some people will like this better. Our fans have a very hard time with like... Hard words. Like, like hard, yeah. Black and white. Like, what is the best? Right. What's the most expensive? What's the most awesome right. ratchets? Like, what is your fi What is the best cocktail you've ever made? Like, dude... I can't answer that question. As a, as a experience group, is completely different. As a group of fans, if we could just take those definitive things out of your vocabulary and replace them with what? oh my god, it would make me so happy. You should replace all the the black and white answers and questions with the word goat. Huh? Just replace them with the word goat. So, fun. what's your favorite goat? What's the most expensive goat? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's funny every time. It makes for a much better conversation. Oh, I just honestly. If you're going to ask a question to somebody, it doesn't matter, in the spirits, supplier, builder side, if you're going to ask them a question like, what is your favorite or what is the most, like, stop for a second and ask yourself the same question before you do that. Because, like, honestly, if you can answer that question, you aren't ready to ask that question yet. Because you shouldn't be able to answer it? I'll, I'll put it into perspective. That's very Derek, phil philosophical. Derek, card. ask me... What your favorite thing is? What's your favorite smoky scotch? Favorite smoky scotch. What is your favorite smoky scotch? I hate smoky scotch. <laughs> okay. So then, like, asking me that question would be really dumb because right. I'm going to give you an answer and it's not going to be fair because everybody tastes things differently. And at the end of the day, answering that question means you're a douchebag. Right. So if anybody. If, Ah, douchebag douche bag. detector. Ask the question to somebody. If they give you an answer, you can say, oh, so you're a douchebag, and then you move on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That way you have so many more awesome friends. Or everybody hates you because you called everybody you know a douchebag. <laughs> you're a douchebag. <laughs> you're a douchebag. <laughs> everybody gets a douchebag! <laughs> it's under your seats! No. Okay. Uh, you ready to you can close up? You douchebag under your seat. Uh, oh, yeah. Closing! So, up. in closing, shake and stirred, which do you prefer? Try this. Do what we just did. If you don't have Jaegermeister spice, try yesterday's cocktail steak. Can you just do it with it. regular Jaeger? Oh. It, you probably won't taste it well. Like it would probably same. be better it's with not as much Fernet vanilla. Branca. Oh, God, no. Oh, yes. No. This is got a vanilla. Fernet That's, does not eucalyptus. You want to make Okay, this? so if you want the vanilla, you could do it with Tawaka. You can do it with Tawaki, you can do it with Spice Box. Have uh -huh. you ever had a Spice Box? Oh, I've touched my Spice Box before. Oh. Have you ever had, have you ever drank from it? Uh, oh, I have drank from my <laughs> Spice Box. <laughs> oh, well, we'll have to see him, you will see him drink from his Spice Box, but only in a live stream. That's uh, every Friday night we record live. Uh, Live.everydaydrinkers.com is a good place to go for that. Or yep. Facebook.com slash Cocktail TV so you can see when I do the live updates. Recipe at everydaydrinkers.com is where you submit your recipes so we can do stuff like this and get all fancy on your asses. Uh, those are called double or uh, wide old fashioned glasses. You can get them on um, awesomedrinks.com. Everyday drinkers for everything else. We're done! Teaching you how to drink. Whoa, that was like we scripted that. <laughs>